Hey, what's going on, guys? Looks like Joe Biden is asking Congress to forgive students that owe student debt still for 10K per person. Let's go ahead and check it out. This happened just yesterday. The White House is denying reports that the administration's reached a final decision on student loan forgiveness. This comes after several reports that said the White House is leaning towards canceling $10,000 in student debt for certain borrowers. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Rick Newman, who is with what does certain borrowers mean? Certain borrowers should be all borrowers. Us in studio. What's up, guys? Hey. I feel like we've been talking about this for a very long time. Too long. Time. Um, what's the very latest from the administration? In, in what kind of window are we talking about? So let's just go back to what Biden says he, he favors. He wants Congress to pass a law that would forgive up to $10,000. Now, obviously, there's some Democrats who want a lot more forgiveness. Uh, Bernie Sanders said forgive all student debt. Elizabeth Warren said up to $50,000. And Biden all along has said, no, that's that's too much. Uh, and Congress is not going to pass a law. So there's this question of can Biden do this through executive action? Um, he could try. Uh, and then there might be legal challenges, um, though there probably is a good chance it would stick. Um, but we've he been hearing rumors, I mean, really, for weeks now that, that Biden is going to do this through executive action. Um, and now that he's not going to do it, there were rumors that he was planning to do it over the weekend, except for the school shooting in Texas last week. So the timing seemed bad. Uh you did not just blame a school shooting for the reason you did not forgive student loans because the timing is bad. No disrespect. That was a tragedy. But people, we cannot use that as a scapegoat. Come on. Um, I think the White House at this point needs to either either do it or say we're not going to do it because this drip, drip, drippiness is just starting to look bad for the White House. Why do you think this is as difficult a decision for the White House as it appears? Because it's bad policy. Um, it, it, it's fair. This is fairly unambiguous. I mean, among policy experts, this is not even that controversial. So the whole thing, if you forgave up to $10,000, let's say, that would cost to around $230 billion, not in one year, but over the life of those loans. That's revenue that the Treasury is not going to get. And if you had $230 billion to work with um, and, you, and you could do that for some kind of subsidy for something, you probably would not target it at people who went to college. Um, or who in most cases are college graduates, you would target it lower down the income chain. I mean, so if you forgive student debt, there's no corresponding subsidy for people who just didn't go to college. They don't get anything. Um, there's no subsidy for people who paid off their loans. Um, you, you know, and a lot of people struggle to pay for college as they go through. There's no subsidy for, for people who do it that way. What they should do is they should simply give the people that already paid back their loan back the interest i'm sure they will do backflips and they'll be like sure give them 10k and you know the people that already paid you know on time in full um with their full payoff the, their interest it took them years did almost probably decades just to pay off the interest come on people some people go for seven or eight years at night and they you know they work a job along the way well, so it, and, and that's the argument right it's is that if you if you go for full forgiveness here it would help those who don't necessarily need it because it's you know, those, to your point, who are more low income, who, right. number one, can't even go to college because of the cost, too. I mean, what happens to that? How do you change the system? But what's the other side of this? I mean, it, if it was such an easy decision, we would have heard from the White House by now. What's the potential backlash if he says we're just not going to go there, down? This there are road? implications for, for the midterms. Oh, right? yeah. I mean, so Biden did run on this as a policy. Now, everybody forgets that Biden said Congress should Congress should do it. The president should not do it with a stroke of a pen. Um, big downside for Biden if he does nothing is um, uh, he's going to lose all support he has among young voters. This is that is not necessarily true. OK, young voters have been told this every single election that they're going to do something about student debt. And we fall for it every year and it still doesn't happen. Hey, if it, if it ha didn't happen then and we're still voting, same thing is going to happen now. This is a big deal among younger voters. He did get a reasonable uh, portion of younger voters in 2020. And his approval rating right now among young people is lower than it is among is the overall average. Is it a midterm average. issue, though, Absolutely. when you think about Absolutely. all the other issues yeah. on the table? Yeah, it is. I mean, the Demo you know, Biden needs to show that Democrats can do something. I mean, the Democrats really haven't gotten anything done since the infrastructure bill. That was a, that was a major accomplishment, by the way, 
But by, with Biden's approval rating at the, in the low 40s, um, that looks terrible for That's very bad news for Democrats. So he wants to make it look like they're doing something. I'm not sure it would help in the midterm elections, though, because you're not trying to win over um, the, you know, the most left, uh, li- most liberal Democrats. You're trying to win. You need centrists and independents who might otherwise vote for Republicans. And I'm not sure this issue will galvanize those people. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess the other point on the low income bit of things I mean, there is research that shows that the people who are oftentimes the most saddled with student debt are those low-income minorities right. who are trying to go to school to get elevated into the other right. class, though. So, I mean, it is kind of looped together. But do you think the administration has just kind of fumbled the messaging on that front? I mean, to your point, it seems like it's not necessarily exactly clear who they're going for here. How hard is it to tell people <laughs> that are still paying off their student tuition, I got you. Here's how much we're going to give you. Here's when we're going to give it to you. Here's the bill for it. Here's the document. Would you like to see it? (laughs) It's not that difficult. Come on, stop playing. People aren't dumb. Right. Oh, they're going for they're going for young young voters for for sure. Um, And I don't want to I don't want to pretend that this is not a problem for anybody. I mean, there certainly are people who have the whole generation um, who who have a lot of debt. I mean, you know, this is the right kind of debt to educate yourself. That's good debt. But some people just have too much. And the people who hurting the most are the people who took out the debt and never got the degree. You don't that's not forgiven because you didn't get get the degree. People got the degree and still are struggling. There are, there are architects and accountants and nurses and man, you take out too much and you have too much fun in college, you will pay dearly, okay? For whatever reason, you still have the debt without the thing that the bet, well, debt was supposed and, to pay and for. And the other argument, right, is that it's not just a whole, it's not just one generation. I mean, there's still people, people forget, there's still people paying off their student debt. I have heard in from their people who are 50s, in their 70s in their that are who have still student debt and are never, no, never gonna I mean, pay it off. It's a- Look. If I owe you, it could be student debt, car note debt. I don't care what kind of debt it is. At the age of 70, just know you ain't getting a dime of that money back. Serious issue. It's saddling multi-generations yeah, down. But dude, it's just the, the solution to this is a, is a lot. It, it's, a re, it's a real problem that some people have too much debt, um, but this is a very ticklish problem. This man just said ticklish. Oh, my For goodness. certain bar. I cannot believe he just said ticklish. Let me know what you guys think about this, man. I don't think they're going to really forgive, you know, that much. Um, if anything, they should do something about the interest because that's that's more practical. It's a lot, so, so, so a lot more of an easy ask, you know, for Congress. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think about student debt. Me personally, I did two years at CCAC, which is a community college here in Pittsburgh, okay? And I probably took out like four thousand dollars, put it on my credit card. It was the worst decision I ever made in my life. I didn't go out um, to college outside of high school because I didn't know what I wanted to do in life. And uh, to be honest with you, I still don't. So I'm doing YouTube. But um, but yeah, man, uh, it's so easy for you to take these loans out. It's not so easy to get it paid back. Hopefully they get it under control. Um, please follow for more videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace. <laughs> About. I'm stupid.